Hey there, back with another Randovania seed. Going to be routing it as best as we can, using the same preset as last time. So mainly beginner tricks, probably go out of logic a little bit if it's faster to do so, uh, but we'll see when we get there. We've got 10 DNA and we're starting in main surface main caves. Uh, so our first check as usual is going to be the surface alpha. Don't want to forget about this guy as it'll be less like that we're coming back and since we've got all the means to do so we're gonna do it now and we're gonna see high jump oh looks like i've already got it marked on the <laughs> tracker from a previous recording anyways uh this will actually be our first progressive jump uh not specifically high jump so um but it will both of them will use this symbol so when we get the next one that'll be our space jump uh so to cut back down on the travel time, we're gonna take this save and use a warp to start. From here, we're gonna start heading towards Golden Temple. Now, I said previously that the progressive jump, high jump, uh, kind of points me towards Breeding Grounds 2, but we don't have any additional equipment, firepower, health to deal with Metroids, so we're gonna put that off. Can't go to Breeding Grounds 1 since we don't have bombs. So up towards Golden Temple. Uh, from here, uh, best to just check Bomb Chamber, get a free expansion, whatever that is, and head back out. We can also peek this item visually, uh, but if it's nothing, we're probably not going to come back here for it. Uh, we're going to head up and over, and we're going to skip uh, Spider Ball Chamber, as we'll be peeking it later. Head up. Grab a visual check on these, grabbing whatever expansions we need, E-Tanks, Supers, maybe a few missiles to start here until we get supers, uh, Super Launcher confirmed. Make our way back down through, and we're going to find our first progressive suit. So that will be our various suit. Here we go. From there, we can backtrack a bit and head into Armory. Armory's got three checks, so um, doesn't look like any progression though, but we can at least get some some expansions. Will help us later in the game. So we're gonna peek this and head over here to peek Spider Ball Chamber and we see that it's nothing. So that's fine. Uh, with that though, we're probably gonna head out and take the save here and save warp back to start. Because we're not exactly missing anything uh, if we do this. So we're back at the start. I'm gonna head down again. Uh, this time uh, we'll be heading farther down in the caves. Uh, these blocks aren't here in our preset, so that's good, no bomb blocks. I'm gonna head down and we're gonna go into A2. Uh, by this point, you should have enough to easily deal with this Metroid, but we get nothing off of it. Um, with high jump, I would take this to the top path. I would grab uh, this item, high jump up here, and uh, some routing choices that were brought up to me before was to actually take the save here, and you can um, then run and jump uh, use some meter morphs to extend or morph glide yeah uh, keep this item if you want or you can take the save back it's really with high jump it's not going to be a big time loss even if you go back up but either way um, it'll get you back to this point uh, we're going to come over we're going to hop over and take out this uh, exterior alpha which is going to be our first dna so we take those. Uh, from there, you can just drop down. If you've got enough health, uh, you can head straight into this alpha and actually pick up our next progressive jump. So that is our space jump already. So with space jump, I might start thinking about some tower checks later on um, because without you either want space jump or spider ball for the tower climbing tower to be in logic or maybe speed booster so 
can point us towards that. We're going to head out. I'm going to drop down and take the save. Now, at this point, we still don't have bombs. We don't have speed booster or screw attack. Um, I like being able to check this item and these two over here. So I would probably put off breeding grounds for a little bit. Uh, we can head down and take a peek into this room on our way to this alpha. And we're actually going to find screw attack here. So that is pretty big. Um, so we're going to defeat this alpha first. We've got all of our jumps to get screw attack. And I will mark that really quick. Now this is interesting because we're right here next to the pipe. We've also got Brooding Grounds 2 open and we can at least visually check uh, these two items. That being said, depending on your health and ammo count, you might decide to put this off for later. But we also do have a hint down here that we'll want to get later. So uh, probably not delaying it too much. <clears throat> the unfortunate thing about going into A2 now is that there are a lot of bomb checks that we can't get. But we do have one check that we can do right off the bat, which is the high jump chamber, uh, which will get us our charge beam. From here, I don't think it's worth taking the time to run through this room and peek all of these visually. You, you might want to do it to feel safe, uh, but likely bombs are going to appear at some point, and we'll probably want some of these expansions anyways to just help us with like fights later on. So I would actually... I might head in to A4 at this point. So we're in A4. We can run out. There's a free check here. There's a free check here. And we can go through, grab the save, hop down. Actually, what might be better is uh, use space jump. Uh, bring us up to our first hint, which unfortunately is a joke hint. Um, mm. See, so yeah, I don't like this already because we're we can peek this one item, but we're missing out on a visual check here and here. So, might have not been the greatest play, but we can quickly fall down and head into the destroyed power plant. Uh, that's where this blue arrow is going to take us is uh, down here. Uh, only one check we can get without bombs, but I've seen bombs here. So we're gonna pick up yet another progressive suit. So that's already both progressive suits and our progressive jumps. So we're looking good on some of our equipment. Unfortunately though, we'll have to abandon these two items down here for now. So we're gonna head back Probably take another save, maybe. And then we're going to head into A5. Now, we don't have any... We, we probably don't have any good way of dealing with Alpha Squad yet, so I'm probably looking for a bit more um, expansions or maybe E-Tanks. Sorry that we're not keeping track of those here, but um, in the future, room for growth. Anyways... Uh, with gravity, I'd probably be drawn to gravity area because... Oh, but again, we're going to miss out on this bombs check, which is unfortunate. But my brain is doing this right now, so uh, we're not getting anything out of there. And uh, these blocks will be gone with the softlock preventions, so we can easily come back. So we're going to come back, and at this point, we haven't touched A3 yet. And we don't have any bombs, but screw attack is a logical way in. So we're going to head into A3. So from here, first check will be spacer beam room, and it's nothing. 
pop up. We're going to take the save. I'm going to head over and we're going to pick up Speed Booster. So this is nice that we're getting it here and allow us to, you know, continue on into A3 if we so choose. Uh, we can only go so far because we will be blocked by bombs again. But I would probably take that out at this point. Uh, we can do a visual inspection on this item. Uh, even if we, I guess we can grab this item without uh, bombs. So if it's E-Tank or something, we'll probably grab it. Uh, and we can check this expansion visually. And I would head over to this Gamma. It's out of the way. And while we're on this side of the map, we're going to do it. So that is now clear. And we didn't get anything. So uh, one option you have is if you didn't, if it was just like a missile or something you don't care about over here, uh, you can take a warp to start, which might be what we do, which just means you have to grab speed booster again, which is fine. We're going to come out and we're going to peek Terezo. So terezo has got nothing. We can easily get back out, which is excellent. And we're going to hop down and take a peek at this item. And this is going to be our first bombs. So now we've got power bombs. This will be pretty key. Now there's quite a few options open to us. At this point, I think what I would do is hop up here, uh, take speed booster through these blocks, hop over, grab this item. It's our wave beam. Not immediately useful, but nice to have. Uh, we're going to grab the save. And then we're going to head over here and we're going to grab this item, which turns out to be our spider ball. And we've got quite a few movement options, so I kind of want to start routing around hints. So um, it might be good to actually backtrack a bit, head down. We can speed booster through this shortcut. It actually might be the same amount of time to <laughs> just go around this way, but for style, we'll take the shortcut. Uh, and then we're going to head to research site because that is one of our hints. And we see we've got... Uh, Area 2, Breeding Grounds Alpha West, and Area 1, Breeding Grounds Alpha Southeast. So we know we have got to go to these two areas, and we're probably going to go there anyways, just because they're quick Metroids to clean up with a few item checks. So um, likely we're not going to skip these. Uh, we can head in, take the research expansion if you want, uh, just kill the dual Alphas, and that will be one of our DNAs as well, Untin unhinted, we always like those. Uh, from here, uh, we've got power bombs. So I'm actually gonna head up to Thoth now. Uh, this is a long trip, uh, but we've got a lot of movement options to make this faster. So you can just charge uh, speed booster and space jump all the way up here pretty quickly. We're going to take this route because you can then charge another one back and you're going to shine spark or just space jump all the way across and check this item so we can grab that um, and then we're going to head into the ship and at this point we're probably not strong enough to beat genesis but we're here so we can actually just head in and peek this item now it's our morph ball bombs. So that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, but if we really need them, we can come back later to grab them. So I would probably head into the save at this point and save warp out. So warping back to start. Back to surface caves. We're going to head over to uh, Guardian. We can clean up Guardian. We've got speed boosters, so you can charge a spark uh, here and insta-kill uh, Guardian. 
We've got power bombs. Be careful because uh, if you, since we don't have bombs, when you actually transition back through here, you can soft lock yourself if you don't have enough ammo. So you can grab these two items. That's fine. We're going to head into breeding grounds at this point. Breeding grounds one. And down here, we will clean up this Metroid, get a DNA, grab this hint that says we need to go to Bubble Lair Omega Southwest. That's fine. We'll hopefully find supers by then. Grab this DNA and check this guy out. So that is two more DNA. Doing well on that front, but hopefully those supers and some weapons come up <laughs> soon enough. Uh, we'll walk back out grab the uh, save for any refills if you need it and make our way back into Golden Temple. At this point there's only three checks that we need to do. I would probably route it like this. I would head up, space jump up here, grab this item, fight this alpha, head down, uh, use our... we can actually use wave beam to shoot uh, this, or you can use power bombs if you forget that, but grab this item, head over, and take the save. Uh, now we've got two options. It actually, we, okay, so say we're right here. We could take the save, we could also take the pipe. I imagine it this point we might have a better chance with alpha squad we probably have enough health to swing that so we're actually going to take this pipe back down to distribution center we've got the two suits we probably have enough uh, missile expansions going to head through grab this pipe grab this hint so A2, exterior alpha, we've already got this one. So we can cross that one off. And A3, upper factory gamma. So that one's not bad, that's right next to the pipe. Uh, so we're gonna head in and take care of Alva Squad. That'll get us our fifth DNA. So we're halfway there on that front. And we're probably going to, we might take a safety save. At this point, I want more hints so I'm going to want to route towards A2 so we're gonna head back and we're going to take the A4 warp again pipe uh, we had we left two items down below as well as um, this power bomb check over here so I would route down Power bomb, check this. Uh, we're going to head into this destroyed power plant. Uh, we've got bombs now, and hopefully you've got enough ammo to actually <laughs> make this trip uh, and get out. We're going to hop in, and we're going to find our supers, which is excellent. So we're going to pretend... I'm just going to give us a random amount of ammo at this point to... Kind of pretend that that's the way this is going. Where are our launchers? True. Okay. So we got supers. Wait, we've got all of our ammo. We're going to head back out. And with doing it like this, we can then charge a spark here. Oh. Not actually on the right map. <laughs> Pardon me. We're going to charge a spark here and boost up again I know we're kind of repeating this path but um, we can actually ball spark actually no sorry we don't have spring well I'm thinking of the other seed uh, we can lay a power bomb here and use uh, space jump to check this uh, run over here get visuals on this and then hop down uh, you don't want to skip this visual because if this is nothing, then you have to go all the way through this maze to check this. So just take a peek first. Uh, we're going to head down. Uh, we've got power bombs and wave beams, so we can actually peek this item and it's phaser beam. 
We don't have plasma or any good way to take care of Tester, so we're going to leave it for now. And we're going to head back down, take a save, and head out to our... Actually, you know what? I like this plan better. We're going to head out and into caves. This is a good opportunity for us to full clear these items that we've missed. So you can charge a spark here, send it all the way over into Fat Croc Room. Grab this item, space jump up. Got a lot of movement through all of here. Uh, you can charge a spark here, take this item. And this is going to lead us back to A2. Kind of a really roundabout way. Actually, while we're here, we're not going to be going up anymore. So I might peek this item and take a small detour up to here. Because these are items that you can kind of forget about. And since they don't have a lot of requirements, um, they can usually have some good stuff. So with that, we're finally going to go back into A2. Uh, we're going to... We've got power bombs, so I might do Arachnus now. Do the quick kill with the power bombs. From there, hop on down. Use our ammunition. So I like heading down this way, because we get to visually check this item. And you uh, would otherwise have to go through this whole puzzle and so I like going down through the top down through the top come over here check the wave beam room head back so from here we're gonna do our usual route of this way first you can go all the way to the end to grab this item and uh, peek these two if they're two missiles you never have to go back this way so that's good uh, I also like not going for this item first because in case this is a missile that you don't want um, you don't have to go through this long morph ball tunnel so from there we're going to um, take the pipe uh, room we already killed the metroid head up We've got power bombs so that makes checking the varia chamber really easy nothing we want though so we're going to head back down, and we're actually going to take a peek at our Ice Beam hint now. So we're going to go through here, and we see that Ice Beam is in A5, Distribution Center. So not great, honestly. That's, that's a lot of slow checks, so not really happy to see that. Um, reminder, our DNA barrier is here. But on we go. So we're going to head back. Go through. And we're going to head into Breeding Grounds 2. From here, I'm going to follow uh, usual routing. Uh, since we have the items to clear everything, we can start with this alpha. Head down. Lay a power bomb so you don't have to... Uh, roll all the way under, underneath check that we get a hint that says alpha uh, a5 dual gammas and alpha squad so we already got the alpha squad one but dual gammas we'll have to go back for i'm gonna head down we're gonna clear up this alpha and then this gamma from there it routes nicely out and this was a hinted dna So that's 6 out of 10. After this fight, we can take the Shine Spark up. Uh, use your Power Bombs if you need to grab this. And Speed Booster all the way out. So from here, we've got one more hint in uh, Breeding Rounds 3 that we can get that's readily accessible. So that might be a good call. One other call, depending on how many uh, DNA hints we have left, it actually might be a good decision to head into A6 and grab the, the other hint. 
but we're gonna we're gonna say no to that for now so we're gonna head back head back down we've got our supers so we can take this route and we're gonna clean up all the metroids on the way I like to route this way first. If you stick near the top and you like run out of health or ammo, then at least the trip back is quicker to take a save and refill. But pretending we're still good, we're gonna head down, kill this guy and get plasma beam. So that is a nice quality of life, big damage upgrade and farming the queen goo will be easier. Love to see it. We're then going to move on. We can, t When we grab this hint, we can also get a visual check of this, if we need it or not. Research site, we've already got. Uh, A1, we've already gotten. A3, Breeding Grounds Gamma, Southeast. So, <laughs> funnily enough, that's just the one right after here. So, we can easily go grab that. Because, um, yeah, we've got Spider, else we could... Uh, there are various methods across this, so... All good, we'll take the shortcut up and we will come all the way back to the save station. So with that, we are sitting at, what is that, four DNA missing? We know where two of them are. No, we know where three of them are. Yeah, so. This is where it can kind of get tricky. Is remembering where all your hints were. So I would advise writing them down. Uh, we know we have to go into... Back into A3. So we're going to do that now. We're going to grab this guy. That's going to give us... Number 7. And from here, I'm going to take the pipe... And I'm going to clean up the A6 or A5. Um, Metroids. And get. Ho hopefully, find our ice beam on the way. So, from here, I'm going to travel. I'm going to grab this pipe. I'm going to head over here. And conveniently, there is our ice beam. So that's a lot of stress off, because now we don't have to search through every single spot. Uh, we're going to grab this, make our way into lower A5, go to our du dual gammas, get our eighth DNA. And then likely going to ignore the rest of this. I'm going to head back out. Head down. Now, because I believe the last one isn't hinted, I would probably kill this Zeta, which unfortunately is nothing. From here, head back up. And we're going to go to A4, and we're now that we're pretty much in go mode there's really nothing that else that we need uh we're gonna rush that last hint so take the a4 pipe back to the a2 pipe take the a2 pipe back to the labs pipe from labs pipe we're going to head down this is our Randovania pipe, uh, so we're going to take that. And this one was hinted, so we're going to grab that, which is our second last DNA. Head over, drop down, take the save if you want, and it's a joke hint. So did we miss... Did we miss a hint, or did I... <laughs> mess one up 
and that's unfortunate. Uh, so pretend right now I'm reading my hints again. Get to place one on the map. Well, that's not good. <laughs> All right. Uh, one second as I pull up the seed and take a look at what, <laughs> what I'm missing. Sorry about that. But this is why you write down your hints. This is a perfect example. Apparently I miscounted. <laughs> we definitely got them all. Um, did I forget one in A2? I must have miscounted. I'm l looking at the hints and we we grabbed them all. So apologies for that one. So if this was in fact our last DNA, then <laughs> scratch <laughs> scratch all this out. Um, we would get the notification that we've just uh, got them all. Gonna head up, do our shine spark across, save it, head back up into labs, through labs. You know the drill. Kill queen. We're pretty pretty loaded, so shouldn't be a bad fight. Gonna head all the way up and out and time. Okay, so that seed was not too bad. Um, this Thoth play was interesting that it revealed bombs, but we never actually got them. But that's fine, you don't need bombs. Um, we never went into, ma uh, into mining facility, that's fine. Uh, we never went into lower A3, so even though we got speed booster here, it just didn't feel right at the time. And the thing is, there's since we didn't have bombs, there's no way to get past this point, so that's why I chose not to do this. Uh, full cleared Golden Temple. Gravity Corridor, uh, we orphaned this item, but that ended up working out fine. Uh, didn't bother with Screw or this, so that Spring Ball up here. Uh, never went through most of this area, still a few items that we could have picked up, but not needed. Tower, we didn't kill a single Zeta. Didn't kill a single Metroid in Tower. Um, didn't reach into Hideout, and Nest was just a quick trip. So all in all, played that one pretty quickly. Um, sorry about that again for that uh, that miscount. And it's still wrong on the tracker. There we go. Ten. Woo! <laughs> yeah, so I'll read through the DNA one more time just to quadruple check. So if we do that, 
we pull up the spoiler log. Alpha Squad, we got. Dual Gamma, we got. Uh, Golden Temple Breeding Grounds, there was two. So that's four of them. Hydra Station Breeding Grounds, we got. Exterior Alpha, we got. Industrial Complex Breeding Grounds, we got. Upper Factory, we got. Research Site, we got. And Bubble Air Omega Nest, we also got. So yeah, that's that's all 10. So yeah, just uh, me misreading hints and uh, messing that one up at the end. So likely would have, would have got, uh, once we would have heard the noise and saw the counter go down to zero, then <laughs> we would have skipped this bit. Uh, but and we had a pretty loaded um, setup for Queen. So yeah, pretty good. I enjoyed this one. And with that, we will see you next mission. Cheers.